In this week's Happier at Home, we are learning more about medical alert devices. Joining us this morning is Marie Rodriguez. She is the president and CEO of Happier at Home. Marie, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. It's good to have you on this morning. All right, let's start with uh, what is a good point in time to have a conversation about a medical alert device for a, for a loved one? Uh, where do you start that conversation, and when do you know it's, it's the time to have that conversation? Yes, it's a great question. So it's important to um, incorporate a medical alert device or also known as a PERS, which is, stands for a Personal Emergency Response System. And these things are helpful to incorporate in your loved one's homes if they've taken a fall or they're, um, you're nervous about your loved one being left alone. And I think the tips and the best way to approach your loved one is to have them become part of the conversation. You know, asking open-ended questions. Um, you know, what happens if you do fall next time and you are alone? You know, this time we were here, your caregiver was here. But if you were alone, how would you feel if you didn't have some sort of system in place? I, um, no, continue, please. Um, looking at different features with your loved one, pulling up different um, services that they provide. There's pendants that people wear. Some of them are a little bit bulky, but times have changed a little bit where they're smaller now. They also have um, watches that people can wear. They're less noticeable, they're more comfortable. Those types of things are always um, better for individuals sometimes. And also there's you know cell phones with GPS, tracking systems. Um, I know as far as with Happier at Home, we've incorporated with our list of services, virtual visits and it's a um, technology that's been incorporated in the home. You can place it in you know, the most common used areas in, in your loved one's home. Um, I actually have it here with me. It's just kind of like a screen and the loved one doesn't have to push a button to log in. They can actually, the family can through an app on the phone be tuned right into that area if you put it in a general area where they usually are. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you, and you, you kind of talked about this a little bit, but they've come a long way from the days of, I, I think we all remember that famous infomercial, I've fallen and I can't get up. The technology for these devices has improved so drastically and changed, right? Correct. And there's different levels of services that you can have. You can have something that's a fall detection where the person would push the button either on their you know, watch or on a system. Um, there is fall detection where if somebody falls, it senses that there has been a fall and emergency response um, units will be called and sent to the home to make sure the person's okay if they can't push that button. We've also got so much voice activated technology too. D does that play a role in some of these devices, whether it be even something that you may already have at home, uh, an Alexa or a Google device? Yes, so if somebody falls or they push the button, um, a 24-hour service would come through customer service line and say, you know, are you okay? Do you need help? If the person doesn't respond, they're going to immediately alert the response units, you know, the call 911, those types of things, and also call a trusted person on their list of people um, as far as a family member or friend. Yeah, an important conversation to have. And as you said, involve that older loved one in that conversation to get it started. Uh, Marie, good to see you. Appreciate your time this morning.